Hello everyone, my name is Garrick Hedges. I'm the Managing Director of HK UK Support. Welcome to another episode of the HK UK Location Series, showing the benefits of different areas around the UK and highlighting a few areas of interest that you may want to relocate to from Hong Kong. Today we're looking at a very beautiful part of the United Kingdom, which is Harrogate in North Yorkshire. We're joined by a very special guest today, Sue Brandon, who is the Inward Investment Officer for Harrogate Borough Council. Sue has kindly agreed to talk to us about her area and also uh, to answer a few of our questions and maybe she'll even ask a few questions and hopefully this will help you to decide if this is a good area for you to relocate to from Hong Kong. I'll just give a, a quick intro on Harrogate for the young young families, what what is there for them to experience or to gain from being in the, the Harrogate area? Well, I think there's a multitude of reasons why this is a great place to raise a family. I've brought my two children up here. Um, and one of the most important factors for us uh, has been the peace of mind that living here brings. Um, the council surveyed over 400 local people um, a year or so ago as part of some placemaking research. And when asked, almost 100% of respondents reported that they feel safe. Um, and that's something that is quite unique, I think. Yeah. Um, there's loads of green spaces and parks um, where families can relax and children can let off steam. Uh, and we have brilliant access here to the wider countryside, which is fantastic. So Nidderdale and the Yorkshire Dales are literally on the doorstep. So you can combine the pleasure of being in the fresh air with exploring amazing attractions such as Brimham Rocks, if you like climbing and being terribly adventurous or somewhere like Fountains Abbey, which is actually a world heritage site. So the area broadly is really popular with walkers, climbers, cyclists, um, adventure seekers. There's also a really rich cultural life here too. Right. Harrogate International Festivals has been bringing the world's, the best of the world of the arts uh, to the town since 1966 um, wow. and is a, a key cultural provider for the, for the north of England. Um, with a really diverse portfolio. They, they have events happening throughout the year um, and they showcase internationally acclaimed artists. They do recitals, performances, a carnival. Um, and they also have a really extensive community outreach program. So they like to include and involve schools and young people. They do amazing educational workshops and talks and projects and activities. Um, they also are responsible for running the Theakston's Crime Writing Festival, uh, which draws authors and readers from across the world. So oh, no. Val McDermott and uh, other notable <laughs> crime writers, because of course, Harrogate is directly linked to the story and the, the history of Agatha Christie. So that's why the, the Crime Writers Festival wow. started oh, here. Uh, and they, they, base, they, they, they base the festival around the Swan Hotel, which is the hotel that Agatha Christie um, fled to and hid anonymously. Uh, so that's why, I think that's where the Crime Writing Festival came from. But there's lots of, there's lots happening. There's a, there's a lot going on sort of year round activities. So I think that's a really, a, a really important side of why it's great for, for families and, yeah. and young people. There's lots and lots of things to do. Um, which amazing. I think is really, really, really nice. Yeah, mm. that's, that's brilliant. I think having all of those activities and having all those different uh, new and interesting things happening throughout the year is really, really important because um, in if if we just talk about Hong Kong briefly and in Hong Kong, there's also things happening throughout the year and different things going on. So I think it could be difficult for people if they can't go to somewhere where there's maybe not as much happening. So it's really good to hear that there's events and activities and you know things they would never even heard of before happening throughout the year, which is really, really cool. Well, if you've never been to a bed race, then 
you have the opportunity <laughs> in June I don't think I have. <laughs> to, to experience the Knaresborough bed race, which is literally uh, teams of runners with customised beds on wheels, <laughs> each with um, a, a normally a very small, light person sitting on top of the bed, uh, and they race around the streets of Knaresborough up and down hills and, and and eventually they have to push the bed through a river to be crowned the winner. It's wow. a very it's a very unusual and it yeah. gathers enormous crowds. So yeah, if you haven't been to a bed race, then <laughs> something that would be a new experience. <laughs> that definitely sounds like a new experience. That's amazing. <laughs> That's great. It's great for an area to have actual uh, personality of its own. Oh it's yes. really different yeah. too from other other locations that's really cool yeah and hold keep up the traditions as well that's a, unless it's a yes new absolutely <laughs> well no the bed race has been going going for i don't think it's hundreds of years old but it's certainly um decades old wow. um yeah. and actually each of the different areas and the different towns have their own um very very strong very proud of their own characteristics of each of the different areas so um, you know, there's rivalries between the between the different towns, and you know the, the tug of war over the river. Again, that's in Nesbro. Maybe Nesbro is the home for the very more, un more unusual ones. Yes, or they're more competitive in in Nesbro. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's 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 an in interesting in that in that regard.